back from hell. Welcome to the special features portion of the show. I'm here at the Tape Eaters convention with director Matt Jays. He's behind the camera. Say hi, Matt. Hi. As you can see here, we have the cream of the crop when it comes to lost treasures. Goodies abound. We got posters, we got vintage sleeves, we got from the maestros here in the massacre video. Who consequently are going to be putting on a screening of Back from Hell momentarily. So we're going to do a little bit of a walk through the convention here. Come with me. Take a look around. Screening room doing so. An introduction to back now. We're going to do a small QA with the audience. Come on. As you can see, the place is jam packed with VHS enthusiasts. Let's take a look into room number two. This way. More goodies abound. Uh, I worked with him at, at Myers, and he was a stand-up comedian. Okay. 
that did uh, did a bunch of stand up and, and stuff, and he's still doing that somewhere. But uh, I figured, oh, it's okay in front of an audience and stuff, you know. And he actually did pretty well. I thought he did, he did pretty good. The uh, uh, Don Rome, the cop that got possessed, was a guy that I actually worked with. Um, worked with him. Yeah, at, uh, uh, just interesting a circle of friends, you know. Again, mentioning the alcohol. The story. I don't think anybody got paid anything <laughs> other no, than nobody yeah, nobody. Oh, did. Don showed up. Oh, um, he, he was making. Uh, um, um, uh, martinis, uh, just by um, with the olives in the vermouth, and then you just pull an olive out of the ver vermouth and just drop it right in the gin. After about yeah. twelve of those, you get really got into character. And uh, when you see him the carrying him down the steps, scene, yes. they're carrying him down the steps, <laughs> man. Yeah, so he was. Uh, that was a lot of people's motivation. This movie actually cost a fortune. <laughs> well, I mean, by, by anybody's standards, you know, at the age, you know, I, I think I was 20. You were what, 16? You were, yeah, you were 19. 17. You were 17. You were 19. Some like that. Some like that. Yeah. Like yeah, that. yeah. yeah. You know, uh, over the course of the five years it took to finish this damn thing, uh, we must have spent, I don't know, at least 15 grand. That was a lot of money. Yeah, it's you know, back then. For oh yes, who? Uh, some. How'd you finance that? You know, I had a grandma. <laughs> my grandma threw in some money. I mean, we were, we were making so we were we were, we were making uh, similar you know stuff on Super Eight you right. know from back in the early '80s and yeah. stuff. And so she put some money in. My parents kicked some money in. I maxed out a couple of credit cards. Again, over the period of five Still years, for that. Right. you know, man, it, it, it added up. When the uh, when the final receipt again, you know, the old. You know, at the end of five yeah. years. Oh, I would like to also add that somebody. Who I'll never need made a fortune off this movie. <laughs> it was not me, <laughs> nor you, nor me, but somebody I, else uh, did uh, really cash in on this thing. Uh, dude, it was, I don't know. They're weird over in Asia. They, they but for everything that buy it some is, weird movies over there. Everything that it is and everything that it isn't, it was absolutely a, a work of love for us. I mean, there's we operate under no illusions of what it is or isn't. We're the we're the ones that will laugh the hardest at this movie. But it was a culmination of decades of, of absolute love uh, for filmmaking. And then this, this movie for many years was the holy grail for the two of us. That's all we talked about. 